What is up, everybody, and welcome back to some more Fallout New Vegas. So I hope you guys did enjoy the first part to the series. I know it was a little slow, just obviously trying to understand the game, understand a little bit about what's going on. But in this second episode, things obviously pick up. We do a little bit more exploring, so it should be fun. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. Also hit that subscribe button if you are new, as we will continue our playthrough here of Fallout New Vegas on the channel. But without further ado, kick back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, we're jumping back in. Uh, offer to help Ringo deal with the powder gangers. So we need to figure out um, which mission, what quest do we want to do next? So offer to help Ringo uh, deal with the powder gangers. Track down the source of the Sierra Madre invitation. I think this is probably, I don't, I don't know. I don't know there's like main quests or anything. So I guess we're just going to go help Ringo. So let's go help Ringo, I guess. Um, where do we got to go for him on the map? Oh, he's not, he's honestly not that far. Uh, we definitely don't want to steal any of this stuff. That's not ours. So let's not steal anything. I'm telling you, man, imagine if we could freaking use the bikes. The bikes would be amazing. I'm assuming he's up here. This is where the notification or this is where the little pop up thing says. Um, hello, is anybody home? Sure. I'll take him. Why not? Let's see if anybody's home. That's close enough. What's up, Ringo? Are you? And what do you want with me? Uh, I'm not an enemy if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. Mm. Got off to a bad start. Did we? Let's say we start over with a friendly <laughs> game of caravan. You know how to play? Uh, no. What are the rules of caravan? It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pot. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. Mm. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Not really. Where can I find more cards? Just keep an eye out for them while you travel. I found cards in old boxes or forgotten on shelves. You can find some for sale too. I guess let's play. Don't worry. I'm not that good of a player. Whenever someone says they're not good of a player, they're a good player. Um do auto match. Okay, so 52 caps. Oh god. What are we doing here? Okay, so randomized cards, all cards, add. I'm very, I'm confused. How do I, I, I'm, I'm confused here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. All cards, randomize the caravan deck. Well, we're about to find out, I guess. So is this kind of like Gwent? No. Why am I wait, my why am I discarding these cards? Why am I discounting I don't know why I'm discounting the cards. It won't let me do anything. That's literally the only thing that it's letting me do is discard the cards. Oh God, I have no idea how to play this. I'm wasting my time with this, aren't I? Like there's literally, I can't select a card.
I have no idea. So I guess we'll just go to zero and lose our money here. Uh, I have no idea. How the hell do I play that, dude? How to play care? Okay. Compromise of at least 30 cards from one or more traditional playing card sets. The deck may have any number of cards of any suit that suits a player's strategy, although it cannot have duplicate cards from the same set. For example, a king of spades from a set A and a king of spades from the set B deck is acceptable, but more than one king of the spades from set A would be illegal. Caravan is played with two players building three opposing piles. The goal is to outbid your opponent's caravan with the highest value of number of cards without being too light under 21 or overburdened 26. The game begins with each player taking eight cards from their deck and placing either one numerical card or ace on each caravan. Did I need to use my arrow keys? The king of spades from... Oh my god. The goal is to outbid your opponent's caravan with the highest value. And once I have three caravans, each player may do one of the following. Play one card and draw a new card from his or her deck to the hand. Discard one card from their hand and draw a new card from his or her deck. Disband one of their three caravans by removing all cards from the pile. Um, caravans have a direction either ascending or descending numerically in a suit. The suit is determined with the first card placed on a caravan. The direction by the second. All subsequent cards must continue the numerical direction. Yeah, I don't... Ah, uh, I'm good. I am good. What is it? You know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. What are you going to do about the powder gangers? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. You need a hired gun, I'm available. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. I'll consider it. All right. Was there anything else you wanted to talk to me about? Wait, I can't remember from the first episode because I want the town to like me. So if I don't want the town to like me, then the powder gangers are going to like me. So I got to figure out why are they out to get My you? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. Mm. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. Mm. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran. So I figure their friends are out for revenge. What do you do around here? Oh, sorry. I thought everybody knew already. I'm a trader with the Crimson Caravan Company. I'm, uh, staying in town for a bit. Did you want something else? Um, can you tell me anything about Good Springs? I've never stopped here until recently. You're better off asking one of the locals. Okay. Tell me more about the Crimson it's Caravan been in Company. For a very long time, it's probably the biggest trading outfit in California. There's a branch up in New Vegas, but it hasn't been doing so well. Word is that the big boss herself, Alice McLafferty, is coming in to fix things. Mm. Um. Do we want? Oh, okay, so do we want to help him, or do we want to weed him out? Um, I think it's help them. We just end up sharing the same group. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. I think we, I think we want to help them. Talk to Sunny Smiles about fighting the Powder Gangers, and she's down by the bar again. I mean, we're definitely running, so. It's kind of cool that I can scroll into third person or into first person. I like that. Is she at the saloon? My assumption is she is here. Yep, there she is. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I'm going to help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Wow, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. 
He and his friends will come after the town eventually. Okay. However, between Yumi and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Any ideas on how to convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Would Chet be willing to give his supplies? Everything give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. How can I get Easy Pete's Easy dynamite? He's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Which I don't really know. I need to get to Prim. Can you sure suggest can. a route? Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Thanks. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Okay. A little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work available. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. A magazine on locksmiths? The lock's too much for you to handle. Reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. Okay. And the bobby pins? You'll need those to pick the lock. I mean, we've already done that, but... Put too much pressure on them, and they'll snap. Already cracked that save? Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. Oh, It'll that's where we were at before. Me. Got it. What do you do around here? Uh, geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rat scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Hmm. Let's talk about the areas around good sure. springs. What do you want to know? What other towns are nearby? Here is Prim. Can't miss it, since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. Hmm. NCR. The new Already knew that. Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming Already knew the that. West, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. Uh, what kind of creatures are out there? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills. So pretty much springs. stick to the roads. The up there are big and poisonous. That's pretty much what we need to know. If you want to... I'll be waiting. Okay, so we need to chat with Trudy, which she's like, right, isn't she right here? Where is Trudy? Where's Trudy at? Isn't she usually in here? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, we do need to talk to Pete. Howdy. Howdy. I hear you've got dynamite. It would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. 16 out of 25. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Mm, what do you know about Joe Cobb? Bad trouble. That's helpful. Welcome. You were a prospector like digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some <coughs> folks just call it salvage, <coughs> but never like the term. <coughs> the way I see it, salvage means it's broken. <coughs> worthless. Me, <coughs> I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Did you ever find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Mm. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Okay, what's so important about Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, 
And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Good to know. What do you use the big horners for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. You know anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. I wonder I if it is. Just a broken down relic with no place to be. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> well, we're not going to be able to do anything dynamite related with him, which that's gonna, that sucks. Um, who else can we chat with? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so there's someone like over here to the right. Who's over here to the right? The general store. Oh, is this uh, what's his? Oh, this is the guy from the yes, Chet. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Good to know. Need supplies to fight the powder gangers? Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Dude. Mm. Right. Just what makes the surplus ammo inferior? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Ah, uh, okay, good to know. Tell me about the weapon, about weapon mods and special weapon ammo. Mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. Hmm. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Hmm. Okay. What do you know about the situation with the powder gangers? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Well, I literally just asked what you, like, what? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. The great cons normally stay. Anything else you can tell me about the great They're cons? Tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The great cons deal in illegal chems. Illegal There's chems, a good okay. That most chems you come across were made by great cons. Take it easy. All right, so he's not going to help us either. Jeez Louise, we are striking out, ladies and gentlemen. We are striking out here. How about you? Who are you? Good Spring Settler. Um, I guess we could go up here. Okay, no. Chet's up that, or what's his name, is up that way. Ringo is at the station. So who is here? Who is this? Doc Mitchell. Okay. Maybe we could at least get Doc Mitchell's help. Can't get anybody else's help. I'm going to say, where is he at? Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Um, Tana's going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Nice. Okay, well, we got that one. So tell me about yourself, Doc. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went Fair back enough. and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. Uh, you had something taken from you? Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. Okay. Who was it that rescued me? That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of <laughs> odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. 
He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Just a feeling. He keeps to himself. Nobody likes Victor. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Nobody likes him, man. You take care now. Why is everybody be hating on Victor? Like, come on now. All right, so well, we got dock supplies, so that's good. Now we need to convince. Now we need to convince Trudy. Um, where would Trudy be? I'm assuming she's gonna be down here. This is the only one that I haven't gone to yet, so my assumption is it's gonna be Trudy. And she's probably gonna be the the. She's probably gonna be the one that's gonna take the. Take the most to convince. Evening. Hello. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Um, you should let me take down the powder gang. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Nice. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay. What can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion Roman is far soldiers? larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Okay. Be careful out there. All right, so we got her on board. So I'm assuming now we need to go to the general store. So hold on, quests. Um, <clears throat> return to Ringo and let him know that Sunny Smiles has agreed to help you fight the Powder Gangers. Convince Chet. Okay, let's try to go back to Chet to see because now that we have Trudy on our side, maybe, maybe he will be convinced. Possibly, I don't know. But if not, then obviously we'll just go to Ringo and and let him know. Hey, we got your back. You looking to buy some supplies? Um, have you ever been to New Vegas? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost. Okay, so this isn't gonna work. We may order now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. <clears throat> it's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Gamora. Word of advice. Behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Good to know, good to know. I'd like to know more about Mr. I'm House. I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I oh. think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. Mr. House is looking after you. It's got to be a good thing, right? So maybe that's why people are not liking him. Because Victor is with Mr. House. Oh. Well, how the turntables have turned. I need to buy repair kits. I'm going to switch my weapons, actually. Um... We're gonna go... We're gonna go pistol. Okay, so the CND, that must be, uh... That must be that, like, the repairs and stuff like that. Hey, yo, wake up! Oh, there's a safe here! So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? Sunny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Stay here for now. See if there's anything else I can do first. All right. I'll just wait here until you come get me. I want to open the safe up. Heck yeah, dude. Give me them bottle caps. Cool. All right. Safe is... Uh, box is empty. Box is empty. Take the yeast. All right. All right, let's move on. We can talk to you now. We're good. I just I just wanted to make sure that What's I got the, the safe. Let's do this. 
All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. <laughs> Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Let's do this. I'm invisible, by the way. All right, Trudy is here, so that's good. Is that them? To get Joe Cobb. Except, ooh, critical strike on him, and he's dead. Boom, baby. To establish a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland, whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody, and people associated with that group will start to react to what you've done. Let's go. Enough news of your good work has been passed around that people like you. You felt you've left a poor impression on the community and may be shunned as a result, Powder Gangers. Um, I want, yeah, I want you. What do you got? Uh, single shotgun, yes. Um, we got dynamite now. So that's good. Oh, this this is the guy we want. We want the revolver. That's what we want the armor. That's what we want. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here. These are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but the one you took from me already? I understand once I explain things. Did I hear you say something earlier about not being able to pay me now? I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Aye, aye, Capitan. Thank you, for, uh, thank you very much. Take the... take the dynamite. What is this? Hull 20 gauge? I don't know what that is. Is that the gun? I don't think... I don't think... Okay, our weight... At, we're at 141 for our weights. Was there any other dead bodies? There was. I'm like out of ammo here. More dynamite. Okay. I I believe that's pretty much it. Um, let's see what we were able to pick up here. So we have 12 sticks of dynamite. Single shotgun. So multiple shotguns, to be honest with you. Weather pistol. Sturdy caravan shotgun. 873 the, wait whoa 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 is that 873 caps for this thing did i am i reading that right value 873 holy crap 300 dollars for that um we have the varmint rifle where's the this is what i want how many bullets do we have for this six okay all right. Um, let's talk to Trudy. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Um. Okay. Beak. I thought there was gonna be something more to chatting with her, but there isn't. Okay. So track down the source. Um. Travel to the canyon. I mean, that's pretty much all the quests here. I want to go talk to the robot. He's right over here. I want to go chat with him. Because everybody talks about this guy, so I want to see what this guy is all about. I say guy, but I want to know what this robot's all about. I think this is it. I think this is it right here. We already went in the schoolhouse, so we're good there. We cleaned that up. Victor. Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle. Well, thank you, sir. Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. 
I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Uh, do you know who those men were who attacked I'd me? I'd say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Hmm. How did you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Just moseyed? Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Mr. Anyway, House. It's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. You've never seen a robot like you before? I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Happy trail! Okay, so that wasn't really helpful. Let's go to the general store. Let's sell everything that we need, that we can sell. And then I guess we're probably going to be... I guess we're probably going to be on our way. Sloan, Good Spring Cemetery, Good Spring Source... Canyon wreckage and that I mean there's prim is down there so it's up here crimson caravan northern passage okay well maybe we could head to Sloan maybe Sloan will be the next thing that we uh we dive into there do we want to buy some ammo we might want to buy some ammo too let's see let's see how much it's gonna cost to buy the ammo do we need to talk to Sunny at all? I don't know if we need to talk to Sunny at all. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. So what you have for sale? Okay, so uh 357 Magnum. So yes. Yes. Except that. Okay. Um so we have a nine millimeter pistol and rounds as well, so that's good. Um, do, 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 what? Is, I don't know what this is. What case? What does that mean? Oh, is that for when we create? Oh, that's for. That is for when we, I think, create um, ammo. If we want to create ammo. Ooh, no, 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 no. Thanks. I think that's what I think that's what that means. I don't need. Let's get rid of the machete because I'm gonna use guns instead. Coffee mug. Keep the doctor's bag. Lightweight leather. Uh, okay, that's armor. Lightweight metal armor. I'm gonna get rid of the this. The mercenaries grenade rifle. Keep that. Pack of cigarettes gone. Simple outfit. Don't need that. Don't need the baseball cap. Uh, just get rid of the scrap electronics. I don't know this. I mean, does that craft in anything? That's the only thing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know those crack uh, if they will craft into anything. Get rid of the yeast. All right. Give me the caps, please. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. Take it easy now. All right, so we got 26 rounds of ammo. I don't know how... I don't know that's going to do well for us. Um, But we're going to give it a shot. Okay, let's go to Sloan. What is in Sloan? Is there anything in Sloan that we need to go to? Investigate the midnight showing at the... Oh, that's the drive-in that they were talking about. I wish I could, like, ping... Can I... Yes, I want to set a marker there. Let's go to Sloan. I don't know what's... I don't know what's going to be out here, but we're going to find... We're going to find out. And we're getting off the main road here, so this is not good. I feel like we're going to run into something here that I'm not going to be friends with right, there's coyotes over there there's coyotes there 
So there's definitely a lot, there's definitely coyotes everywhere. So ideally, I don't really want to mess with them if I can help it. Uh, before you venture deeper into the wasteland, you may revise your character. Um, no, we'll just go onward. I think I'm good. We probably maybe we could have changed my build a little bit, but that's okay. We'll survive. Ooh, there's a bunker there. Um, you have discovered several locations. You can fast travel back to discover locations using nice. Okay, so there is um, fast travel in this. That's perfect. Death Dawes ahead. Yeah, let's not go there then. Black Mountain Radio. Ooh, there's a light in the distance there. That must be the caravan place, huh? I wonder what that's over there. Looks like a base or something. Can we chat? Can we go into this building that's over here? But now we can fast travel, so that's good. I wonder if it costs any money to fast travel. I know there was a coyote somewhere around here. Gotta be careful. Door to the abandoned shack. Oh, okay. Ooh, hello. Uh, dirty water? I mean, I'll take this all. Nice, I'll take it. Take the duct tape. Again, I'm a looter, so... Uh, activate the bench. Break down... Wait, what is... Can I not... How many? I don't know what that is. Wait, what am I breaking down? Hold on. Skill requirement, break down the... The... Hull, gauge, lead, powder, pistol... How many? What am I going to break that down into, though? Into 20-gauge 20, 20 shotgun bullets? Uh... What did I just do? I don't know what I just did. What did I just do? Mm. I'm not entirely sure what I just did, but I didn't get rid of any of the, uh, the rifles, so that's good. Reloading. Skill requirement. 20 gauge buckshot. Powder pistol. Primer, a small pistol. Okay, so those are all ingredients. I see. Okay, so I think I just made... Did I just make some shotgun shells? I think I just made some... I think I just made some shotgun shells. Um, but where are they? Maybe I didn't? Oh, hole. 20 gauge. Ah, okay, I see. So these are all like crafting materials. Okay, that makes sense. Right, let's put the metal armor on for sure. Okay, cool. All right. Um, well, let's sleep. Let's sleep till it's morning. All right. <clears throat> cool. Okay, how do I fast travel? Let's see how I how I fast travel here. Uh, data. Um. Oh wait, we haven't been to where we need to go. So we still got to go further, huh? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if we should. It says don't go that way, but we're about to go this way. I don't know if we should, but we're we're about to do here. You know what? Let's save. Let's save before we do anything here, okay? I've learned in, in past games. Make sure to save. Alright, I'm not seeing any. Not seeing any wildlife yet.
the daytime I think also helps too. So I gotta I gotta remember to like try to be in the daylight if possible. Cause I'm sure that I'm sure that helps out a ton. With any sort of like coyotes and stuff. Oh god. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna freaking hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. How do I get to his body? I want his body. Ooh, we got a critical hit chance on that. Oh, that's big. I'm gonna need more ammo. We're gonna run out of ammo freaking fast, aren't we? Uh, let's try to avoid any more of those scorpions because they're going to take a lot of ammo. I wonder if I kept on running. If like I'd be away from it, you know? Like I wonder if it would chase me. Mm, is this a dead body down here? Okay. Uh, laser pistol. Yeah, I'll definitely take everything. Thank you very much. I'm sure a laser pistol is going to do wonders. Oh, that is a person up there. Do you think, do we think that's a good person or a bad person? Are these good people or bad people? Are you guys good? We're about to find out. The death, it's too damn hot. Uh, to the barracks? When, poor Snuffles. Wish somebody could do something about his leg. Okay. I totally just hit E way too many times. That was stupid. I didn't hear anything that that guy just said to me. Is anybody home? Wait, can I steal from... Eh. I feel like it's not worth it. I feel like it's not worth it because I'm going to have this whole town go after me. Oh! I hope they don't close the quarry. I need the money. The death claws have been keeping their distance for now. Okay. So the thing about closing the quarry, huh? To the mess hall? Anybody in the mess hall? Morning. Hello. Let me ask you a question. What's the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? Uh, anything that wasn't made 200 years ago? Why do you ask? I've got this recipe for a death claw omelet that I've been itching to try out. Trouble is, I need a death claw egg. Kind of obvious, I suppose. Where'd you come up with this recipe? My great aunt Rose ran a bed and breakfast back in California in a town called Modoc. She's the one who created the recipe in the first place. I don't know how she managed to get a hold of a female death claw, but she kept it in a shed. Aunt Rose had a steady supply of eggs for her omelets. At Creepy. least she aunt Rose. Did until some stranger came along and killed the death claw, shot it right in the eye. Where can I find a the death claw? Egg? Just north of here is full of death claws, so there's bound to be an egg or two in there somewhere. Of course, a death claw egg from anywhere will do. According to my Aunt Rose, those things have a ridiculously long shelf life. What are you offering in exchange for the egg? I don't have much in the way of money, but I'd be willing to share the secret of the recipe. I wonder if it has anything right. to do with like healing, do like to that eat type or of thing. Drink? Um has some questions about this sure. place? What did you want to know? You don't look like a quarry worker? Oh, I'm not. I'm making my way to New Vegas. They say anything goes there. And best of all, the NCR can't mess it up for you. I'll get there eventually. <clears throat> I've heard that you can't even get into the strip unless you're rich. Hmm. Are you from California? Born and raised. Things back in California are better than they've ever been, according to my grandpa. The raiders are mostly gone now, and it's easy enough to get a job at one of the mills or farms. But now there's taxes and laws and other things. 
The NCR keeps things safe and orderly, but it's all very boring. So, I came out east towards the frontier. Okay, let's talk about something else. Right. Oh, the Deathclaw yeah. omelet recipe? Eh. Okay, goodbye. Alright, so if we want to go get the Deathclaw egg, we can definitely do that for her. Ideally, I don't want to go do that right now if I can help it. Are any of these guys, do they want to chat? Hold up. There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. Where did the death claws come from? They moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks. But now the death claws have shown up. The NCR is a no-show. And my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. Um, I could take care of your death claw problem? Have you ever seen a death claw? They're taller than a man and far, far stronger and faster. And there's a whole pack of them out there. You'd have to be the meanest, toughest, roughest bastard in the wasteland to have any chance against them. And but if I, I was, that's you. You'd need to take out the pack Bruh. leaders, a mother death claw and the death claw alpha male. Kill them, and the pack will scatter. Pretty tough job. Seems easy enough. Tell me about the powder gangers. Uh, a bunch of escaped cons from down south. The NCR was using them to maintain the railways as part of their sentence. I don't know who screwed up. But the powder gangers are loose. It was one group that attacked us and took our entire supply of dynamite. Hmm. Have you heard? Uh, have you had problems with death claws before? Yeah, we'd see them occasionally, but they didn't seem too keen on getting too close to the quarry. Not sure if it was the noise or all the workers. I can't believe that an entire pack moved into the quarry. I thought that kind of bad luck only happened in New Vegas. Hmm. Let's talk about something else. Oh. What is this place? This is Sloan, a camp for us quarry workers. The actual quarry, Quarry Junction, is up the road north of here. The whole thing is an NCR operation. We make cement for the NCR using the limestone we dig out with dynamite and drag lines. Dirty work, but the pay is good. Wish we got paid in caps, though. Not a lot of merchants like taking NCR paper money. Hmm. What does the NCR need with the cement? It all gets shipped by rail over towards Boulder City and Hoover Dam. The NCR is probably building fortifications with it all. Makes sense. What's a drag line? It's a big machine which moves rocks around, piles at a time. It's pre-war tech, so you need to thump it once in a while to keep it running. You don't get paid in caps? Nope. The NCR has been trying to switch over to using paper money, just like in the pre-war days. Trouble is that the exchange rates ain't exactly fair. For example, so government is still trying to find a way. Is valued at roughly half that in caps around here. Seems like a rotten deal for us, but work is work. Literally sounds like the world today. Sure. What can you tell me about New Vegas? I've been there once, and I don't recommend it. It's just a way to burn through a month's pay in five minutes. I've seen a lot of folks come through here thinking they'll have the easy life once they get there. It never happens. All right. Well, I don't think... If you insist on going north... I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat these guys. It seems like I'm not going to be able to beat these guys right now. So we could technically... We could go to Prim. Um... So, well, now we have this, so we can fast travel here if we want to. So that's good. Uh, Quarry Junction and the Great Con Encampment. Ooh, so that's probably going to be... That's going to be interesting. We could definitely go down to Prim, though. And the Canyon Wreckage. So let's... Let's, uh, let's do that. So, but... Uh, I think for this episode, at least, we're going to end it here. I know not too much action happened in this episode, but we did at least save our friend Ringo... Uh, and some more exploring. So I think in the next episode, like I said, we'll probably head down to Prim. Um, maybe the Canyon Wreckage. And we'll kind of explore a little bit down here. 
and also the drive-in is this way too so we can kind of we'll continue to kind of move around and explore and, and see what we can find so if you guys did like this video and you enjoyed it make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video also hit subscribe button if you are new as we'll be continuing our playthrough of fallout new vegas and until next time guys i'll catch you in the next video